going to this. Uh, Claire here, and welcome to the Caffeine Club. I thought I'd just start something a little bit like that. Because I don't know about you guys, but I drink a lot of coffee. I drink a lot of coffee, I drink a lot of tea, I drink a lot of iced coffee, I drink a lot of green tea, I drink a lot of herbal I like caffeine. I like caffeine. So I thought I'd start the Caffeine Club. Where we can all just get a nice cup of coffee, just come together, you know, discuss things. I've got mine today in my stolen Starbucks mug. Not by me. Uh, my dad actually came home one day and uh, he was like, oh, I've got you all a present. I was like, oh my god, it's a Starbucks mug. Daddy, I love you. And then he was like, no, oh, you know, I got you, I got you. And I was like, father, why is there a ring of coffee on the inside of this mug? And he was just like, well, if I'm going to pay that much for the coffee, they can at least let me keep the mug. So you can kind of understand where he's coming from. What's that? I'm just going to reframe this ever so slightly. Because I feel like it's a bit too far away. But yeah, so as you might notice, I've done something slightly different with my hair. Um, don't worry, there is a tutorial uh, coming up on this. I just have to finish editing it. Um, and I look a hot mess, but that's because I literally haven't done anything to my hair today. It's just all right. So, um, but no, uh, last... <laughs> Last night, uh, we had my boyfriend's sister, Georgia, come to stay over. She's like the coolest 15-year-old I've ever met in my life. And uh, she brought with her like this half tub of Manic Panic Hot Hot Pink. And she was like, oh, I know you like to dye your hair and I'm not going to use it, so just go for it. And I was like, yeah, okay. Because uh, personally, I've never tried Manic Panic before. Um, I've not heard great things about it. But... Um, I don't know, it seems... I mean, I, I like the way it's come out so far, because the way I wanted to do it, because I had blonde roots from where I had to bleach it, because I'd rather have blonde roots than, like, dark, murky blonde roots. So, um, I bleached it, and I thought, well, I'll put the pink on the roots, then I'll sort of bring it down a little bit, so it'll make, like, a pink, purple, blue thing. And this is just until I can get enough money to dye my hair green. But, um... I don't know, so far I like it. I'm quite pleased with um with the coverage and the way the colours turned out. Um, I think the main thing that I'll be looking for is how long it fades, so I'll keep you updated on that. Um, on the Nerd Boner front, um, I shall be getting up the first couple of Nerd Boner videos, hopefully in the next week. Um, there should be an Avengers one. Uh, World of Warcraft, Mists of Pandaria, Beta 1, and uh, Diablo 3 1. Oh, because Diablo 3 <laughs> I don't know what the hell that face was. I'm going to dread washing this back and seeing what spaz I look like. But, um, other than that, I don't think there's really much. My parents go off to Croatia tomorrow. That's pretty much about it. Uh, me and my boyfriend had our one year anniversary the other day, which was very nice. And, oh! I will tell you about the saga that is my Brett stud. Basically, I had my Brett pierced over a year ago. Probably over a year ago. And uh, I've never changed the bar. No, it's just, it was the perfect size. It fit nicely. I liked the size of the ball. It was all very good. I liked it. Um, the only thing is, the ball had a tendency of coming unscrewed on its own if I would, like, talk too much or eat. So, I was at the pub one night. And uh, this isn't going to be one of those stories, I, I don't really drink. Um, whenever I get to the pub I have a soda water and lime, so. But um, we were outside and I was eating a pack of pork scratchings, as you do at the pub, because I'm like, hey, pork scratchings. And so I was eating them. And I was just sitting there having a cigarette. And I just went to touch my chin and I was like, oh, scruffy now. The ball had come off, and of course, because we were sat outside in like a gravel paved area, I was like, well, I'm fucked. I'm not finding that again. So I immediately went on eBay on my phone, bought another one. Now, when I got it pierced, um, the person I had it pierced from, I, I seem to remember her saying it was a 6mm. Now, don't quote me on that, because this was a while ago, and I could be completely wrong. But from what I remember, I thought she said 6mm. So I bought a 6mm bar um, with 3mm 
size ball because the only thing I didn't like about the, my first bar was that the ball was a little bit too small but you can really tell I had it pierced sometimes because of my stupidly large lips but um <coughs> Um, so I went online and I ordered a 6mm one and it came two days later. It was very good by the way. I think, in fact, one sec, let me just find who the seller was on eBay because they were awesome. Because previously before I had bought lip rings, but uh, I don't know. I got them from... Uh, I think it was like body jewelry sauce or something like that. And they, they were a very good site. They were very good. Um, their products were very nice. But of course, I don't think when sort of selling lip rings and stuff like that, people take into account those of us with slightly bigger lips and neither of them fit. But I got my one from a seller on eBay called Aurora Body Jewelry. And literally, if you are looking for body jewelry on eBay, considering that body jewelry is such a a delicate thing to shop for really you you do want to be really careful because at the end of the day it's it's your face you know so if i definitely had to recommend anyone on the internet it would be aurora body jewelry the pieces there they're absolutely great condition exactly as um advertised so i got this six millimeter one and it was just it was just too small like that way it was just cutting into my lip so i was like okay as long as the ball stays on i can live with this so I went out for um, an anniversary dinner with my boyfriend Richard, and then by the time I got back, I was like, oh, "Fuck me!" They come off again while I was eating. So I ordered another one. This one, but this one's an eight millimeter, three millimeter ball. And hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, you know, inshallah, all that stuff. It should be okay. But other than that, I don't think there's really much to talk about. Um, I'm also going to be starting another series of videos called Knitting Club, where, you know, talk about projects and knit along things and stuff like that, because I'm very close to actually finishing my first jumper. I don't know about you, but I, I am a knitting freak. I love, I love knitting. I absolutely love it. Um, Rich took me out on our anniversary. And was like, okay, here's a gist. You can either have that big ass Hello Kitty stationery set from the shop across the road, or I can take you to the knitting shop downtown and you can have anything you want. And I was like, Psh, go, just go. So we went there and literally he bought me. I mean, it's it's decreased in size now, obviously, because I pretty much knitted a whole jumper out of it in like three days. But he literally got me this ball of lovely, like light greeny, bluey, tealy wool. It's literally like that big. Like bigger than my head, and I was like, I love you. So anyway, other than that, not really much to talk about. But there should be some more access, um, some more access activity um, over the next couple of days. Um, going to be posting a video with all my links in because I've started up uh, some new blogs specifically for this channel. So I will link that in the description bar at some point. But other than that. No. Have a wonderful night. Enjoy your coffee, and I will see you next time. <sighs> so, um, we know, uh, last everyone, oh, because yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm like, hey, cool questions. Come on, where is it? Go! Just go! Go! Just go!